Hi everyone, it's Christine from the Canadian Schoolhouse and today we are going to be making a poppy out of pipe cleaners for Remembrance Day. Now that's tomorrow in case you forgot. Um, so I'm going to, uh, if you're missing Steph, she is still here and she's in the background and she's going to put up the link uh, to the article that was done for this month um, for the for the you'll get all the instructions for the poppy craft as well as a little a lesson on the poppy itself. So you can check that out in the comments. And uh, so what we are, I'm gonna get started. What you need is one dark green, two red and a half of a black. So the first, first thing we do, we're gonna take our green, fold it in half, Give it a little crease. And we're gonna take our red. This is very easy. So you can make a few of these. Um, so we're gonna make an X and try to make sure that they are even because other these are gonna be your petals and we don't want them to be uneven. So we're going to take our green, put it right on top and give it a little twist to lock it into place. Oh, I need to tighten it, there we go. So it should look like that. Our black piece is the center, so we're just gonna take one end, stick it into the middle and wrap it around. And you can alternate directions without moving our petals too much. Now, as I do this, um, part of the the article, it, ha it talks about John McRae's poem, which you should know, um, most people know is the In Flanders Field. And there's a song that you can listen to in the background while you're making your craft, if you're not doing it right now. Um, and it, there's actually quite a bit of versions. I haven't even found the version that I learned when I was uh, younger. Um, but the one that's uh, the link that is in the article is pretty nice. So that is something nice you can do. So I've got my center. And now I'm going to just twist our green right down to the end. So we get a sturdy stem. I hope I'm in the camera. <laughs> So you can see. And there is a video um, link in the article as well in case you want to go back to it at any time. And you can probably hear my kids in the background. Okay, and then once you get to the end, just kind of twist it up so that the sharp ends aren't going to poke anyone. So there we, there we go. And now we're gonna just work on our petals. So you're gonna take one end and just pinch it between your fingers here like that. And then just roll it on its side. So it looks like that and roll it right into the center. So we look like that. And then we're just gonna do the same for the rest. That's two and three. And you're gonna adjust your uh, petals once you're done so they are a little bit neater. Okay. So let me turn it around here. So just gonna adjust your 
petals so they're a little bit neater in the center. And I'm, there we go. So you can make a few and, you know, have them put them in a little vase for the day. Or if you wanted, if you were studying the in Flanders fields, you know, cut out a couple of crosses, you know, the crosses row on row. And if you wanted to wear your poppy, mom and dad, you can just take one, uh, just twist up the back and just lock it into place, get a little safety pin, and then you can stick it on and you wear it for the day. So that is the poppy craft that was uh very quick and easy to do um the other thing that we wanted to mention uh was our virtual family retreat that is coming up on november 16th all the way through to november 19th um and so we have a link for you to sign up for it and i'll have steph Put that in the comments. So basically what this retreat is all about is that we want to give you a break and to come together as a family and just spend time together and to be encouraged, have fun, listen to some encouraging words and a little lesson for the kids. There's something for everyone. So we want you guys to just come and enjoy and we just want to be a part of your day for four days. Um, a little more details. We're gonna we're gonna be from starting at eleven, going till one. And so, if you uh, check out that link, it's virtualfamilyretreat.com. Uh, it's scrolling on the bottom there. Um, so once you register, you'll get more information in your inbox on what's upcoming. You'll get a schedule. Um, so what you will be getting throughout those four days, you'll get uh, activity sheets. There'll be lessons and courses for your kids. Um, and then there'll be devotionals happening. And then we've got some great speakers lined up uh, for you to be encouraged. And there will be giveaways. So you don't want to miss that. Um, and I'm not sure what else I'm, I'm missing. Steph, am I missing anything? I think you've covered all the uh, major stuff there. I think uh, I think to just I, I love how you said that just the getting together with uh, well getting together with each other, but really to strengthen the family. I mean, homeschooling is just one of the ways as an organization, right? We we help help families, you know, just get stronger and just to, to build, to build stronger families that really last generation to generation. So we start this process with our kids now. And, and as we all know, kids just learn, learn from seeing. So you'd almost guarantee, you know, you have this real close relationship as a family, you know, in this generation, then you're, you're just securing that for, for your kids, for all your kids and all those future generations. And it's, um, yeah, so we just see see God working through this a lot. So let's let's call it like God's virtual family retreat, and hopefully, yeah. you know, whatever whatever he whatever messages he has for families, I hope that that's that's what our main focus is going to be, and that what what people are going to feel from that. So I hope uh, you will all uh, join us for that, and there will be recordings. I don't know if you mentioned that. So yes, even if you can't I, join live, register. Yes. So once you register, you you will have all the information and, and a uh, direction on where to go find those um, webinars after the fact if you're not able to make them live. Um, we do hope that you do come live. That would be great. Um, but we will make it available to you. Um, and yeah, we, we have so many people working hard on this. We just want to bless you. Um, and to bless your family. So please, um, and if you if you know you know friends and family who may not follow us right 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 now, uh, definitely share that link, get them involved, and you know have them join us. 
So I did also add that there about the Facebook group. So there is a Facebook group that right. you can um, join and get all the information. We'll do a few little extra things on there, just the what we can do within Facebook. So uh, see that for the retreat for sure. And you can get all the details in that group as well. But we uh, will also have some other stuff that we'll do in that group, re really just for strengthening families. And I mean, we're not going to close this group down after the retreat. Uh, and, and right, that's another cool, we're, we're I, I haven't, we haven't done this officially, but it really is like, it's our first annual virtual family retreat. We really see this um, growing and offering this, this is such a great time to offer it. And in, in November, um, I feel like, and we talked about a lot. Uh, we talked about that as well in our planning meetings, right, Christine? Just how yes. this this is just you know we're we're starting with this right now, and maybe even smaller than what it'll grow to be. But yeah, it's uh, it's something we want to see get bigger and bigger. Definitely, definitely. So we would really love to see you and spend time with you. Um, and again, the dates are November sixteenth to the nineteenth. That starts on Tuesday. Um, and yeah, it's from 11 to one each day and just make sure you register so you don't miss all the information. There are, um, lots of, uh, freebies and, and goodies available for you. Um, so don't, don't miss out. So I think if we've covered everything, I think that's it for today. Um, so just make sure you grab those links and I hope that you guys have a great rest of the week and we will see you soon. Bye for now.